This is the Crypto Lightsaber with another video, guys. And today I want to talk to you about why I put $53,000 approximately into Hex. It's not the usual type of video that I do, although these are the types of videos that I did earlier um, at the beginning of this channel. Um, but I just want to show you guys something. So Hex has obviously been on a dip while the rest of the market um, has been going up. All right, guys, over the past few days or months, should I say, since September, um, let's, in fact, not since September. Yeah, since September, you've seen uh, Hex having a bit of a dump, right, guys? I say a bit of a dump, a lot of a dump, right, guys? But one of the reasons, I'm going to give you several reasons why I put so much money into Hex at the moment, okay? But one of the reasons would be that it's had approximately a 70% retrace from its all-time high, right, guys? In fact, right here is about 73.88%. So that's reason number one. I normally like to buy tokens when they've had about a 70% dip, and that is all coins. When they have a 70% dip or 75%, between 70 and 75%, you know it's near enough down the bottom. In fact, the worst case scenario, it would fall 30% for you to get to zero. Okay, guys. The second reason is that we have this trend line that Hex has been following for a little while until it got that massive pump to the upside, all right, guys? And now it has come down, and it come down to retest this trend line right here. Now, it looked like it was falling below the trend line, but if you look closely, you don't see any candle body close or just about there, right? But you could readjust the, the trend line, but there's more or less not a candle body close below here. Or it just happened very slightly, and then what happened, it got bought right back up over the trend line, and we began to get more four hourly closes above the trend line. Not only that, but it came back down to retest this trend line, and it has bounced off there and broken out of this descending triangle, triangle or descending wedge. All right, guys. So that's reason number two. The obvious reason, of course, is the fact that it has broken through this resistance. Okay, guys, I actually front run it and bought it before it broke out. I also let a few people in my Telegram uh, group know that I was buying Hex. And um, obviously, we have this downward uh, trending resistance. Okay, guys, or downward sloping resistance, rather. And it has broken that level. And I anticipated that it would break that level only because of this tight squeeze coming down to the bottom and this nice buy back up over the trend line. It was more or less not guaranteed because, you know, speculation, but it was very likely, highly likely that it was going to get a break out of that trend line. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you guys another reason why I think this is super bullish is that if you look at the chart for this, all right, I'm going to compare it with another chart, like a fractal. Hex from here on Dex Tools from about the 6th of May, you can see this pattern where it goes up down goes up again we're getting a nice little sell-off all right guys and we get that breakout and hopefully we can get a movement to the upside all right guys so if you look at a token called vector space it's got more or less the same fractal the same sort of chart structure okay guys however you can see you have a breakout at this level i'm going to put a joint picture of it on the screen so you can guys can see exactly what it looks like but if you look at this level right here you can see that it goes up up over here and then it comes down all right guys and it goes up and then you get the breakout you get a dip over here then you get another little rise before the sell-off all right guys same thing with vector space okay it goes up down and you go up and then you get another dip then you get another rise before the sell-off and then you get the sell-off all right guys and then eventually the breakout of the triangle after the break out of the triangle okay it had a pullback back down to test the previous resistance as support Stayed there for a bit, and then we got a massive rise to the upside, little dip, and then another push to the upside where we are right now. Okay, guys, so it doesn't have to happen perfectly. All right, guys, remember, you know, history doesn't repeat itself where it runs. So when you look at certain chart patterns, and that's why I trade mostly is chart patterns, you kind of look and think, you know what, perhaps it's going to do that. Let's trade this based on what happened on that chart. All right, guys, so this one, we could get a pump. You can see certain levels of resistance. Okay, we've got a resistance level here at about 26 cents, which is actually my target for this trade. And then you have another resistance or key level of resistance. You can see it's both resistance and support. And that is approximately 33 at 34 cents. All right, guys, so you could face resistance at those levels, could come back down to test this level or come back down from for a little bit of a you know, a consolidation before it moves up. It doesn't have to come down to bounce along this previous resistance line as support on this occasion. All right, guys. Uh, one of the other things that I'm looking at is if you take this line, okay, and we draw it like that, 
you'll see it could potentially also be in another bullish pattern, which is a falling wedge. All right, guys, so if we take this line away, you'll see that this could be in a falling wedge. Of course, it's been trending within this range for a little bit of a while, okay, since September, we're now in November. It's come down, all right, guys, and usually when you come down to test this level, if it doesn't break and stay below there, that will obviously be super bearish, but it is getting that bounce, so it's highly likely that it's going to begin to make its way up to test this line somewhere along the, along the line before the rejection, okay, guys? So it would make sense if it did come up to approximately between 26 and 30 cents, all right, guys? And then got a rejection before eventually breaking out of this level and making its way potentially to the all-time highs like you see uh, what Vector Space has done. All right, guys? The final thing is the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. Okay, we'll also check the MACD. And we'll also check our stochastic RSI. Okay, guys. Now, I tend to check these indicators not very often because sometimes they can fool you. If you look at the RSI, for example, you would say, you know what, this is completely overbought. All right, guys, the stochastic RSI, you say it's completely overbought. However, you know, just looking at this at first glance, it can stay up here for a while. All right, guys, it's not really showing it on this chart, on the hex chart, but it can stay up there for a while. But even though that could curl over, you could just get a very small pullback, obviously, like we said before, and then we can get this moving back to the upside. So it could come all the way down and move back up, obviously. But if you look at the other indicators, you look at the MACD, for example, the MACD has had a bullish cross across the histogram. Okay, we're getting momentum to the upside, as you can see right here. And if you look at the RSI, the RSI uh, does look like it can be coming into the overbought conditions. But like I said, it has had that little bounce and it might get a pullback from there. All right, guys. So I think that will be a very short term, temporary thing. Okay, guys, if we increase it onto the daily, you'll see that the daily does look super bullish. Okay, guys, the RSI is right down here at the bottom. So we can get a lot of upside out of that. We've got literally, we're more or less just broken out of oversold conditions, all right, guys? And the MACD hasn't had a bullish cross yet, but the momentum is beginning to tick to the upside. So we can definitely get a push up from there. And the stochastic still has a little bit to go as well, okay, guys? So that's why I think that that is bullish. And the final reason why I think that HEX is super bullish right now, not only is the community very big and, you know, fully behind HEX, another thing is, is the fact that if you notice, when Bitcoin has been going down, Hex has been outperforming Bitcoin, all right, guys? But since Bitcoin has been moving back to the upside, you've seen Hex begin to fall, all right, guys? I believe that Bitcoin is going to have a pullback at the moment, and that's another reason why I think Hex is going to start moving to the upside. Most of the liquidity in Hex is paired to USD coin, so it doesn't face a lot of the turmoil that a lot of the other altcoins face when Bitcoin is falling, all right, guys? It actually more or less trades the opposite to Bitcoin, all right, guys? So that is the final reason why I think this is going to be bullish, and that's why I put approximately $53,000 into Hex. I averaged in from about 16.8 cents, all right, guys? And I front ran it before it broke out of the triangle, and now we are starting to get that upside. Now, do I intend to hold that whole position in Hex? Uh, not entirely, all right, guys? The aim is to make approximately 50% profit on this trade, all right, guys? And then after that, what I can do is I can take out my initial investment, leave the profit in, and then that can be a potential long term for me for Hex, all right, guys? Um, on the channel, I've been saying for a little while, I actually missed the boat on Hex, all right, guys? And if I saw a significant dip, I'll be looking to buy it. A lot of people have been waiting for Hex to fall all the way down to $0.06 cents and, and $0.10. Cents. It actually dropped to $0.14 cents before it bounced, all right, guys? A lot of people wouldn't have actually pulled the trigger and took the opportunity to get into a token like Hex because of fear, all right, guys? They're waiting for it to fall a little bit more. They're not sure. And I've been there, done that, all right, guys? But I think Hex, at the price of around $0.16 cents when I got in, Definitely a good investment, all right, guys. And in fact, if you look at the time of recording this video, okay, guys, since I got into Hex, I'm actually in uh, quite a decent profit. So from $53,000 up to $65,000, all right, guys, I'm actually in a decent profit so far, all right, guys. So this trade has paid off. You know, I could literally take out the $50,000 now and leave approximately $12,000, $13,000 in it, and that will be free Hex, 
<laughs> you know, not only that, but I'm able to buy some of the other tokens that I sold to get into Hexar, guys. I'll be able to buy them at dips, like Trias, for example, waiting for that to potentially dip down here. All right, guys, so these are things that I do behind the scenes that I don't really talk about a lot on the channel. But let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you think about this. Do you intend to get in on Hex? Let me know as well, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.